are you doing today? I'm doing good. Okay, awesome. So, the reason why I brought you in today is so that we can review your assist scores. Okay. Okay, so I'll go ahead and hand you this, and you can follow along with me as I review them. Okay. Okay. Um, so, we'll start with tobacco products. Um, okay. You scored moderate with tobacco products as a risk level. Um, for alcohol, you scored a high level of risk. Um, cannabis, you scored a low level of risk. And then for cannabis, I'm sorry, for cocaine, you uh, scored a low level. Um, however, you did mention that you stopped uh, using cocaine a few years back. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, I actually wanted to take the time to congratulate you because that's very difficult to do. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was hard. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so and uh, the low, moderate, and high uh, mean that low, you're at a low risk of uh, developing health and other problems from your current use. Uh, moderate, you're at a risk of health and other problems from your current pattern of use. And for high, you're at a high risk level of experiencing severe problems with your health, um, social, financial, legal, relationship domains. And um, that's all a result of your alcohol use. And it could potentially lead it to dependency, so we have to be careful with that. Okay. Okay. Are you concerned about your substance use? Well, yeah, it looks like my my uh, alcoholic, you know, score is pretty high in my alcohol score. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. I, didn't know, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, would you want me to go ahead and review some of the risk that you can experience from the alcohol use if it continues? Or maybe yeah, perhaps yeah, you're already experiencing good to know. something already. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Okay. Um, so regular excessive alcohol use is associated uh, normally with hangovers, aggressive and violent behaviors, um, accidents, injuries, reduced sexual performance, um, can bring premature aging. So the wrinkles, um, you know, digestive problems, ulcers, inflammation of the pancreas, high blood pressure. Um, anxiety and depression, relationship difficulties, financial and work problems. Um, so getting in trouble with the boss and things like that. Um, difficulty remembering things and solving problems. Deformities and brain damage in babies with pregnant women. Uh, stroke, permanency brain uh, injury, muscle and nerve damage, liver disease, pancreas disease, um, cancers, uh, suicide, and it can lead to DUIs. Okay. I'm pretty shocking, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you know, at this moment, I, I would like for you to tell me a little bit more about the good things about using alcohol. The good things? Yes. Okay, well, I mean, I have a lot of problems. So, the, it just helps me, you know, be, like, relax and not stress out about problems. Maybe to be kind of more free, and then, you know, I'm using it when I'm going out, so I'm having a good time. Mm -hmm. You know, hanging out with my friends. Not worrying about anything. So that, those are the, what I see as the good things. Okay. So what I hear you saying basically is it's a way of um, helping you cope with your problems, uh, you know, having fun with with the use. Um, so going out, you know, being social. Mm hmm Okay. Um, you know, what are the, the, the not-so-good things about alcohol use? Well, I guess now that you mentioned, like, I guess that list of things, the risks. Yeah. I I noticed that you know every time I go out, I'm I'm getting to fights and you know why is that? Because I'm drinking, you know. So I'm probably am more aggressive, you know, because of my alcohol use. And then recently I've been missing a lot of work, uh, probably because I have a lot of hangovers. So you know I'm just not working, I'm getting in trouble, I'm getting in trouble for missing and then for going to work drunk. So that can you know I could potentially lose. Yeah, definitely. You know, it sounds like those are some of the, the factors um, associated with alcohol use. And, um, you know, I hear you saying that you're already having some issues at work. Um, you know, I also hear you saying that it's difficult for you to, to not engage into aggressive behavior when you're using. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, those are definitely things that you would uh, need to consider and, and see if uh, you're looking into changing those behaviors. Okay, um, so if I were to give you a scale from 0 to 10, with 0 being the least um, desire to change your behaviors, 
um, and a 10 being the highest desire to change, where would you rate yourself on that scale? Probably like a 6 or a 7. Okay, and why is that? Just, um, I guess because, like, you know, it does good things for me. So, but I also don't want to get, you know, don't want to lose my job. I need to have a job. I need to have money, you know. Mm -hmm. Can't be without a job. So, you know, I, I would want to change, but it's going to be hard to change. Because it, it is something that, you know, that I, that I do have fun with and I do, you know. It, it takes away my, my stress. Yeah, definitely. I, and I understand that. Um, and so, you know, what? one of the things that we can do for you today is that I can give you this list of referrals that I have. And um, you can take it home with you, review it, and, you know, basically just keep it with you until you're ready to, to seek out some help. Okay, so okay. I have some information on AA meetings and treatment centers that can be beneficial to you. Um, because, you know, it sounds like your, your alcohol use is already impacting your life. So, you know, it, it's something to give it some thought. Okay. Okay, so here you go. And um, definitely let me know if um, there's anything I can further assist you with. Okay, I'll let you know. Thank you for coming in today, John. Thank you.